Hello, good morning, children of God. How are you doing today? May the good Lord bless you, guide you, protect you, in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, all my subscribers. Those are still faithful coming to Wisdom TV, regardless of what the enemy is doing, you're still coming to Wisdom TV. Please, as you come in, if you are new, subscribe and again give me a thumbs up. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In today's Bible reading, Paul lists some realities of life that can shake the fate of a believer. These include tribulation and distress which manifest themselves today in the form of financial crisis and health issues. Our topic is be unmovable, be unmovable. Others include convert and open persecution of believers. Even in so-called secular nations, professing freedom of religion and association, Nations of the world are also plagued with homelessness, famine, and poverty, and we are faced with the peril of firearms and weapons of mass destruction falling into the hands of terrorists, bad people, bad leaders. It takes being emboldened by the Holy Spirit and having the mind of Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah to hold the fort and lift up the banner of God's kingdom. We should not be dismayed at the prevalence of these evil things because our Lord Jesus Christ already told us they will happen, speaking in John chapter 16, verse 20 and 33. He said, and I read, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament. But the world shall rejoice, and you shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Undergoing trials and tribulations is a part of our faith as Christ's disciples. The Bible makes it clear to us in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, which says, Ye, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Those who have gone ahead of us also passed through these, these same things, and some even had to pay the supreme price of their lives while upholding the faith. To finish strong like they did, we must believe and live by what the Holy Spirit says about us in Romans chapter 8 verse 37 which says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Are you passing through tough times? Does it seem as if the promises of God are not working out for you. I encourage you to cheer up and be strong. Don't deny your master and Lord because of tough times, which will soon fade away. The Lord is speaking to you today through 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, saying, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hold on to this word and remain unmovable from the straight and narrow way that leads to life. I pray that God will continue to strengthen and uphold you in Jesus' name. 
and we thank God because there is nothing God cannot do for us his children. I'm here to tell you to be courageous, be unmovable. Do not worry yourself in everything you're seeing now. God Almighty will make everything to become fine again in our lives, in our country. Those that are passing through some problems, troubles everywhere. I pray for you all the time that Almighty God will bless you, guide you, protect you in Jesus' name. Our memory verse today says, Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans chapter 12 verse 21. And I want you again to read Romans chapter 8, 35 to 39. Amen. Our prayer point today is, Father, please uphold your church in this trying period of the end times. Uphold your children. Uphold anybody that is in Christ. Father, we bless our work, our country. We pray that we should not be numbered among those who will fall away from the truth in Jesus' name. We bless God today. Our God is so good. He is so kind. And in everything, the children of God we are going through today, our God will make a way for us. He will guide us. He will protect us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.